in Google Sheets, it's pretty easy for you to find an item. All you need to do is hit the shortcut Control F to find any item, for example, Koala, and that item will be highlighted in green. And if we click from Sheet tab to Sheet tab, it will appear. Again, if we hit Control F to find again and expand this more options item here, we can look up Koala. And instead of selecting all sheets, we can just use this particular sheet to find the next item and take action on the next Koala in our sheet. A final option is for us to select a range. So specific range, and then we can go ahead and select a range. So we can only apply things to the Koalas in column A. But sometimes you might want to do this programmatically with Google Apps Script as part of a larger process. How do we go about doing this? So let's open up your Google Sheet. And in our Google Sheet here, we have a, our standard My Function, and we're going to replace that. And we'll replace that with function find value over all sheets. We need a couple of variables to kick off and they're going to be constant variables because they won't change. Uh, and the first one is going to be const text. And that's the text we are going to use or the text we want to search for. And in our case, it's going to be koala. Next, we need to select our spreadsheet. So we can go again, const ss for spreadsheet and spreadsheet app dot get active. We can use the get active or get active spreadsheet. Which I like to use because it's a bit more clear. Okay, so next we can access something called the text finder in Google Apps Script. Let's create a constant again for it. So const text finder, and that's going to be equal to the spreadsheet ss and create text finder. This one here. And this create text finder class only requires one argument, and that is going to be the text. Cool. We want to find all occurrences across all sheets. So if you see here, I've got it minimized, but we can open it up. I've got sheet one, two, three, and four. So I want to search across all of those sheets. So let's go const all occurrences. And that's going to be equal to text finder. And here we can use text finder find all. Find all is going to return an array of each of the ranges or cells that it's going to find the text in. If it doesn't find anything, it won't return anything. So let's just go const and we'll make a variable that we will call location list, or location lost. And that's going to be equal to all occurrences dot map. And we're going to use the JavaScript map method here. And that's going to help us iterate through our array and apply something to it. And on each iteration, we will call that a item in each. And we'll do a little arrow function here. Nice. And let's return a couple of things. And we'll return them as an object because it looks a little bit neater. OK, so we could say the sheet. And we want this sheet property to be the item. And you can see in the items, we've got a list of things we can do. So that's basically the item is going to be the cell that we find things on. So for example, here we've got koala over here, that's in A3. We could ask for the values, we could ask for the background color, we could ask for the font, uh, the font style. But for us, we're going to ask for the get sheet and then get name. So it's going to be the name of the sheet. And then we want also the cell a1 notation. So A1 notation means um, B5, E11. So A1, the letter, and 1 is representative of the numbers or columns across. So let's go cell, and that's going to be equal to item.get A1 notation here. Cool. So on each iteration, every time it finds Koala, it's going to return these results here. So let's use a console log to get our results. Location list. There we go. Cool. And let's hit save and we'll go ahead and run and see what logs. Now this is being this will be our first occurrence, so we may have to go through authorization. 
cool. All right, so let's open this up a little bit more. So we've got sheet one here, and the first time it finds our koala is on A3, which is here, yeah. The second time it finds the koala is A4, yeah, directly underneath it. Then it finds it again on sheet one on F14. So let's go down to F14 here, and then there's koala. Actually, let's just make it easier on ourselves and hit control F in here and type in koala. There we go. So for F14, A, B, C, D, E, F14 down there. Yeah. And then we've got A16, which is this one here. Cool. Let's go into our sheet two. Uh, there's only one occurrence of it here that it's popping up in this find in Google Sheets. In our script, we found F14 as well. Nice. In our sheet three, we've got three occurrences of it. So sheet three, one, two, three occurrences of it there. There shouldn't be any occurrences in sheet four and sheet four hasn't been reported. Cool. What about if we just want to search a single sheet tab? We just want to search sheet one. All right, so not much to change in this function here. Let's just select it all and copy it, control C, and just uh, down a bit, we'll hit control V to paste. Let's rename this to, let's say, find value over one sheet. Cool, so we've got text as an argument here. Let's also add in a new argument and that's going to be the sheet name. So const sheet name is equal to, and that's going to be this one here. Sometimes I'll just like to go over to the sheet tab and double click it, control C and control V in, just so there's no mistakes. Awesome. So from now we've got our spreadsheet already set up. Let's also get into the sheet itself that we want to or find our value in. So let's go const this time and we'll call this one sheet. And sheet is going to be equal to spreadsheet and we'll use the get sheet by name method here. And that name is going to be equal to sheet name. Why didn't I put it in here? Well, it's usually a fairly good practice to put all your variables up the top here. So when someone else comes along and looks at them, they know where they are. Cool. So instead of accessing the spreadsheet for our text finder, we're going to use sheet this time around. And now we know everything is going to be in the same sheet. So we don't really need to report this sheet get item here. And we're probably better off just returning the item get a one notation. So let's just simplify this a bit for ourselves and just delete that and delete that and hit save. And just select this new value here. And if we haven't made any errors, we should be good to go. So let's hit run now. And cool. So we're back on the sheet one here, A3, A4, correct, F14, correct, and A16, Koala is there, correct. One last thing in this section, what about if we just wanna select a range? So for example, if I wanna search for the Koalas in from A2, down to A16, for example. All right, so let's grab this last function here and select, hit Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And let's rename that to find value over a range. Okay, so using your power of deduction, as we've increased from using all to sheet name, what variable do you think we need to add in next? Right, so it's gonna be the range or range location. Let's say range lock. And let's make that A2 to A16. We'll tidy things up a bit while we're there. All right, cool. So now we need to select the range from the sheet in sheet one. So let's go to const here and we'll call this variable range. And that is going to be equal to sheet. Now that we have selected sheet up here, and that sheet has selected the spreadsheet. And that sheet is, and then we can use the get range method on it. And get range takes a number of different types of arguments, but for us, we're just going to use this A1 notation here because it's simple for this particular exercise. So let's just grab this range lock here and paste it in. And now for our text finder, all we need to do is replace the sheet with range. Again, we want all occurrences, so we're going to use this text finder find all method here. And then again, all what we're going to map is the A1 notation 
we know it's just going to be the value here. One thing we could do is change this to the row. So maybe we can change this to instead of A1, A2, because we know it's going to be in column A, we could maybe just say uh, get row. Roan, get row even. Hit save. And let's just go up and grab our new function here and hit run. Cool, three, four, and 16. So again, this is row three, row four, and 16. That's exactly right. Now, one thing you probably noticed is that I've only got single words in the search. That was just to make it a little bit easier for you to read. But to prove I'm not a liar here, let's go over to the sheet four item here. And let's go ahead and just copy this last function, control C, go down, control V. And let's make this uh, underscore V2 for version two. Sweet, and we'll change this koala to cheese here. Now I haven't done anything for, with the wording here. I haven't set it to uppercase or lowercase. That's for a different tutorial. Here we've got cheese and it's not case dependent because honestly, you don't want any restrictions when it comes to cheese. Okay, so we've got our cheese set here. We need to change our value to sheet four because we're in sheet four. And let's just do this A2 to A16. Let's make this A1. And we can do the entire range. So let's just open it up and just get rid of that. A1, A. Cool. Hit Control C. Let's see what happens in this row here. And we will change our value to this V2 and hit Run. Cool. So now we can see we've got cheese in row one. Row two, yeah, that's correct. We don't have it in three, awesome. We do have it in four and five, but there is no cheese in row six or seven. That's it for finding all values in an entire Google Sheet, in an individual sheet tab, or in a selected range in Google Sheets using Google Apps Script. In the next tutorial, we are going to narrow this down a little bit further and just find the first value in a range, the last value in a in a range or the nth value in a range. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date on all the tutorials in this series, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. It really helps out with the algorithm. Until next time.